Hey folks, it's Mike. The end is nigh. Uh, sorry, the end of 2020 is nigh. Uh, it's coming up real soon, and I uh, figured I'd, uh, you know, end off the year with uh, a video featuring my favorite photos that I've taken in 2020. Stay tuned. I had uh, I had some goals this year that I wanted to uh, to accomplish. I uh, wanted to, uh, you know do some more meetups with uh, fellow photographers and, and models because I want to get a little more comfortable with that. Um, also uh, wanted to uh, explore more places uh, that I hadn't been to before. Um, also uh, do some more night sky photography and learn how to edit my night sky photos better than I have been. And uh, also wanted to shoot, sorry, photograph more animals uh, other than my cats. Uh, you check my phone, I've got like nothing but cat photos and random photos of stuff I see in stores. Yeah, go, go figure. Some of the places that I've been to uh, this year that uh, I hadn't been to before included places like uh, Buns Creek, uh, the Broken Head Wetland Interpretive Trail, try to say that three times fast, uh, also uh, Rushing River uh, uh, Provincial Park in Ontario, um, and uh, Steep Rock, um, Shoal Lake, uh, Cook's Creek Church, which is an unusual church. Um, very colorful, I'll say that. Um, also wanted to go to uh, places that I've been to before where, um, you know, I'd been in, been there like the summer, maybe even the fall, but uh, had never been there in say the winter, or the early spring kind of thing. Places like uh, Bird's Hill, never been to there uh, during the winter. Um, Grand Beach, Always a summer treat, you know, with all the sand, sun, and, and nice warm weather, but uh, when you're there in early March and it's like minus 20 uh, and the lake's frozen over, yeah, it's quite fun. And of course, you know, with um, COVID, uh, it's put a pretty big damper on a lot of the plans that I had this year, Good, you know, the you know, meetups that I uh, had in 2019 with uh, fellow photographers and, and models didn't happen this year. Um, so uh, hopefully next year. Um, you know, of course, next year, I'll certainly be able to explore some other places that I had never been to um, previously. Don't know where they are, but I'm sure I'll find out. Hey, here's Hope and Churchill. Um, anyway, I suppose I should get on to um, showing you some of my favorite photos from uh, 2020. Starting out the list at number 16 is uh, this interior shot of a reproduction of a sod cabin uh, which was used by pioneers back in the 1800s. Um, as soon as I entered uh, the, uh, the sod cabin I had this sort of story in my mind of uh, the hardships of a, a couple of pioneers that uh, were working the land and uh, kind of just went from there. At number 15 is this uh, shot of the St. Andrews Lock and Dam at Lockport, Manitoba back in February. It's a panoramic shot, I believe, of five photos that I stitched together. Um, and uh, I will also say it's the first time I've actually been there in winter. And I hadn't actually realized how deep the snow could actually get uh, because I fell in the snow several times and uh, uh, nearly lost a boot. Coming in at number 14 is a shot of the walkways within the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. Uh, the walls of the walkways are made of alabaster and are lit from within. And uh, normally they're a much warmer tone. Uh, I decided I wanted to put a cooler tone on the, uh, the whole photo um, just to give it sort of a neo-futuristic dystopian type future look to it. I like it. Yet at number 13 is this uh, shot of the Northern Lights that I took just north of the city of Winnipeg in late September. And when I say just north, I mean a 10 minute drive north. Um, any chance that I can get, safely get any shots of the Northern Lights, I wanna go out and get them because they are beautiful. They are a sight to be seen with your own eyes and through the camera really. 
At number 12 is a shot from Russian River Provincial Park in Northwest Ontario. Uh, been the first time I've actually been into the park uh, and this was taken in late February after a good snowfall and well to be honest when you think of ideal winter photos to be honest in my mind this is it I mean I mean what more can I say at number 11 is a shot from uh, Birds Hill Park in uh, early December uh, went there to try and get some you know snowy sunrise photos um, and uh, ended up getting there a little too late but uh, still walked the trails still got some nice photos and uh, saw these uh, trees decorated with uh, Christmas ornaments and uh, thought it was quite uh, festive and Christmassy and uh, quite nice at number 10 is this uh, photo of a fawn from the Bois des Esprits taken back in uh, October um, she's showing basically the same sort of disdain for 2020 that the rest of us seem to have for the year. And, uh, what, you know what, I can't wait for 2021. Bigger and brighter things? I hope so. I really do. In at number nine is a shot from uh, Assiniboine Forest in Winnipeg in October. Uh, and, you know, I wanted to go get some nice uh, fall color photos. And uh, about 30 minutes after this, as you can see with all the heavy clouds there, they started to downpour. And uh, I had to scramble to uh, put all my gear away and make sure that it was uh, nice and dry. And by the time I got back to my car, um, I, I was drenched, drenched badly. At number eight is this shot uh, from the Forks in Winnipeg. Um, I went there uh, in early February to uh, attend an outdoor concert you know, before all the fun pandemic stuff started. And uh, on the way out, saw this uh, spinning structure with a little sail attached to uh, the top of it. Decided, hey, let's take some long exposure shots while spinning around. Spinning around I did, and boy did I get dizzy. That was fun. At number seven is this shot of an abandoned uh, farmhouse near Beauzejo, Manitoba. Uh, went there in June to uh, take some uh, sunset shots of uh, the farmhouse and uh, because I don't think it's going to be standing much longer. Uh, in fact, maybe by this time next year, it won't be there at all. Uh, the colored versions of the photos turned out quite nice, but uh, I tried this black and white edit and to be honest, I think I like it a lot more. Coming in at number six is this shot from uh, the road near Okanuk Marsh. Uh, I went there that night in July to take some photos of the Neowise Comet and uh, wanted to stop along the way to take some photos of the, what I think are canola fields. Uh, I'm from the prairies, I know nothing about crops. Go me. Anyway, uh, I like this shot of the, uh, the signs that were there and so I took a shot. Up at number five is this uh, shot that I took in uh, late July as I was uh, trying to get one last shot of the Neowise Comet um, before it disappeared um, and uh, traveled down a uh, gravel road um, in the Interlake area in uh, Manitoba and uh, while waiting for uh, the comet I you know, was just taking random shots including this one and I think this turned out to be a pretty good shot. At uh, number four is this shot from Pinawa Dam Provincial Park. Um, it had been raining a day or two before that, and when I got there, quite surprised to see all that water pouring through. Um, typically when you go there, there really isn't water pouring through. In fact, you can actually walk right up to the edge of the, the outlet, typically. Uh, not so in this case. Uh, lots of water, made for some, some nice shots. At number three is a shot from uh, Buns Creek Centennial Park in Winnipeg from uh, early January. Um, went there to just take some uh, photos of the park because I've never been there before and uh, unfortunately it was quite cloudy uh, when I was there so you know I decided to just uh, head out but uh, took one last look uh, to the south and saw that uh, the sky was a wonderful peachy color and there you go.
At number two is a shot from Victoria Beach, Manitoba, where uh, I went out to take some sunset photos in August and uh, was risking uh, life, limb, and my camera um, because I'd waded into the water to take some low down shots and hadn't realized that there were some slippery rocks under underneath and uh, I was on the verge of falling in several times and I didn't want to get my camera wet and thankfully I didn't. And the number one photo for me for 2020 is this uh, photo that I took of the Gandhi statue in front of the Canadian Museum for Human Rights back in April. Um, just as the COVID pandemic was in full swing, um, I felt the mask was an appropriate rebuttal to some graffiti that was spray painted on the skate park next to the statue that said, it's just an effing flu. Yeah, no. I don't want to discuss anymore about whether or not this COVID was a hoax or not, or um, whether uh, you should wear a mask or not. Just wear a mask, really. Just just do that. Um, on, I'll say the artistic point of view, I, I'll say that it's, it's not my best photo. I've got a few other photos that I, from an artistic standpoint, like a lot better, but uh, because of COVID, um, I felt this photo was probably a stronger photo in terms of the message that uh, it conveys. And, uh, well, that's a wrap for 2020, isn't it? I will say from a personal standpoint, uh, 2020 hasn't been a great year, but it's not been a horrible year. It's been sort of a mix of good and bad. Um, Photographically speaking, um, it's been not too bad. Uh, learned a few new skills, but uh, certainly like to improve uh, as uh, as time goes by. And uh, at that point, uh, you know, it's a matter of what shenanigans I can get into in 2021. Hopefully, a lot more than this year. Um, that's all I can say, really. Uh, at this point, uh, I'll just. Uh, Wish you a happy new year and uh, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe. Ciao, folks.